10 Major Crop Farming Decisions to Make Based on Weather Information Number 1. When and how to prepare land for planting For rain-fed agriculture, the timings are dependent on when the rainy season will start according to the seasonal forecast, the crops being grown, and topography. Ideally, land should be prepared at least two weeks before planting. However, some soils are difficult to work on in dry season and need rains to loosen the soils, and some are difficult to work during heavy rains, so they need to be prepared early. Number 2. How to conserve water and soil Based on seasonal forecast on the amount and duration of rains expected, consider introducing appropriate soil and water conservation measures when the rain forecast is above normal. The focus should be on controlling erosion, protecting agricultural produce from flooding and water harvesting. When the rain forecast is below normal, the focus should be on applying appropriate soil moisture and water conservation techniques. Note, also if your land is sloping, consider adding contours to prevent soil erosion. Number 3. Which crops and varieties to grow? You need to select the right crops and varieties to grow based on seasonal forecast. If rains are predicted as normal to below normal, select drought tolerant varieties of the crops recommended for your area or change to drought tolerant crops replacing maize with sorghum and millet. If rains are predicted as normal to above normal, grow usual varieties recommended for agroecological zone. Select high yielding varieties of the crops recommended for area or change to long duration high value crops replacing sorghum and millet with maize. Note, it is important to take into account spatial and temporal distribution in decision making. Good temporal distribution is when the rainfall is well spread throughout the season. Number 4 which fertilizers to use and how. This can be organic such as manure or inorganic or both. Select the right fertilizer mix based on the soils and the crops and seasonal forecast. If rains are predicted as normal to below normal, use less organic and more inorganic fertilizers, a half to three quarters of rate, because significant amounts of unused nutrients could remain in the soil, potentially affecting fertilizer needs for the upcoming growing season. However, above normal rains can also lead to more leaching and loss of nutrients due to erosion resulting into eutrophication of water bodies. Number 5. When and how to apply fertilizer. If the rains are predicted as normal to below normal, apply organic fertilizers two to three weeks before planting. Mineral fertilizers should be applied at right crop stage, usually in two splits when the soil has sufficient moisture. If rains are normal to above normal, apply organic fertilizers one to two weeks before planting in buns or spread followed by shallow tillage. Apply mineral fertilizers in three to four splits to avoid loss from excessive soil moisture. Number six, when and how to plant. Plant when the soil is moist enough, at least 20 millimeters of rainfall in four consecutive days or two days of heavy rain, or follow the advice from meteorology. Observe proper planting practices for example, correct spacing and number of seeds per hole. If rain will be normal to below normal, increase spacing. If above normal, use normal or reduce spacing. Are you planting monocropping, intercropping or crop rotation? Which crops are you pairing? Best recommendation is to intercrop compatible crops or rotate cereals and legumes. Number seven, when and how often to control weeds. Weeding can be done manually or by herbicides. Use the correct herbicide and wear the correct protective clothing. Herbicides are pre and post weed emergence. Use the correct herbicide and follow correct disposal of containers. Note, if the rains are heavy, weed more often and if rains are less, weed less often. Number eight, which pests and how to manage them. Some pests and disease are linked to when the weather is dry and others when there's too much rain, especially the daily and 10 days forecast. Understand the dynamics of major pests and disease of your important crops that are linked to weather forecast. Note, identify what pesticides may be needed, where to obtain them and how to use. Number nine, when to harvest and how to store crops. It is important to know the weather condition at harvest time by following the daily and 10 days forecast. Different crops have different requirements. For cereals, it is important to harvest crops when completely dry. Grains and legumes harvest during season. Do not dry on naked soil, spread a mat and store in dry cool place. 
Tubers such as cassava can be dried and processed to increase shelf life. Note, if rains are predicted, consider harvesting early and drying. Store harvest in dry places. Number 10. When and how to market. Whenever possible, it is advised not to sell immediately after harvest when the prices are low. Harvest appropriately and sell when the prices are higher. Study and keep in mind these 10 suggestions and you will be able to mitigate and control the effects of climate change.